What's going on everybody? Boris here at their College of Design Studio. I wanted to put together a quick video for you guys, a quick tutorial on how to make Adobe After Effects a little bit better, a little more responsive, less sluggish, and to decrease the chance of failure and hangups. For example, when you're trying to export a large video, you're going to see that the program becomes unresponsive and it fails. So what we want to do is fix this and uh, as always the Adobe forums are pretty useless not a lot of uh, information there on that so what we want to do is go to file actually no edit preferences and let's go to media and disk cache first we want to make sure that we enable the disk cache and what Adobe After Effects does is it uses disk space as a scratch space where it throws project files as, as it's building them, right? Because it's creating it frame by frame. It needs to store all those images and then concatenate them together. And we want to give it as much space as possible. If you have an external hard drive that you can use, definitely use that. I'm using the same one. It starts you off as a pretty small number, something like 100 gigabytes. That is nowhere near enough. You want to at least, at a minimum, triple that. If not, give it something close to 500 gigabytes. Um, it uses a lot. And then we want to make sure that you know all these are properly configured. Then down here onto memory and multiprocessing, we see how much RAM we have installed. I have 16 gigabytes on this machine. RAM reserved for other applications, five. We can decrease down to four. I think that's uh, pretty safe. And then it tells us what the RAM is being shared by at the moment. We can see Photoshop. Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects. Premiere Pro is lighting up because I actually have it open, so it's telling us that we're sharing this memory. So you want to make sure that you close as many applications as possible, including any other Adobe applications before you do this, and crank that baby up to as much as you can. I might actually decrease that, this down to four. Then After Effects multiprocessing. This is very important. We want to render multiple frames simultaneously. That is going to make our rendering process a lot faster. We have eight cores on this CPU, eight processor cores, and we want to reserve zero for other applications. RAM allocation per background CPU, the default I believe is two, and we can keep it at that, that's pretty good. Actual CPUs that will be used, two. There's I think four virtual cores within those two CPUs. So now that we've enabled all of these applications, we'll click OK. Adobe After Effects should be much faster and the rate at which it fails when you're trying to export a large project should decrease substantially. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the video. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you next time on Intercology Designs Production.